Hi everyone, once again I'm just going to introduce you uh, the continuation of my collection. I had already posted two videos so I was guessing I might want to show you a little bit more what I, I had gotten so far, so let's just take a look. So it's still AES titles for the Neo Geo, obviously, you know. So these are pretty common. I've started with um, the more accessible games, I'd say. So we have here... So that was Samurai Showdown, Art of Fighting 2. This is a really nice one, Robo Army. Great beat, beat them all with the tech machines and robots and so on. Here, World Heroes 2 Jet. 1994, starting to date a little bit, but still always very nice. <laughs> this is Fatal Fury 2, which is always a must-have, especially when you're starting to collect. Uh, these are pretty accessible games. You can find them around uh, like maybe 80 euros, 120 euros more or less. Yeah, Fatal Fury Special. Here we have Last Resort, which is amazingly incredible for its 45 megabit count. It's just, um, it has astonishing graphics. I mean, you can really tell the very detailed, you know, atmosphere. Everything is very, um, I would say, taken well taken care of. Right here, Fighter's History Dynamite, probably not the best... Um, beat-them-up game, but it's, you know, fairly reasonable, even though it's kind of, uh, has been a little bit and cheap. <laughs> Burning Fight, classic, 1991, one of the first titles to have been released on the Neo Geo. Then we have World Heroes 2, of course, one of the most accessible titles, I'd say. The Super Spy, so that's actually one of the um, first games to be uh, personal, uh, personal point of view, which is pretty good. Ghost Pilots, great shoot them up as well, 1991. Ninja Combat, Carton Box. Some games have been released in Carton Box, um, not all of them. Obviously there was uh, also, I believe, um, some others such as King of Monsters. This one suffered pretty much, but you can tell, but it's still in working condition. Three Count Bout. This is always a nice uh, wrestling game, one of the rare wrestling games on the platform. Another copy, Euro copy of World Heroes 2. Pretty nice. It's actually one of the games I play the most, I'd say. World Heroes 2. Another copy of World Heroes 2 Jet. And now we get to... <laughs> the Cuff series, so we have, I'm just gonna take this guy off a little while, <laughs> the first one, so that's King of Fighters 94, which was awesome, it was a three on three battle, you couldn't really choose um, uh, which players to play with, you, you were actually stuck with teams, so you had like the American team, English team, and so on, really nice, then we have King of Fighters 95, Awesome game with which I started collecting, although I started in 1995 with the Neo Geo CD, so it was very different. King Fighters 96, obviously. King Fighters 97. Look at that artwork, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. King Fighters 98. Seen as most as one of the best coughs of the series. It is actually, it's very good. Uh, King Fighters, 1999, <laughs> and I'm still looking actually for 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2003, then we skip to Fatal Fury 3, The Final Road to Victory, 1995, that was introducing the two-stage, um, I mean in depth, you could actually go back in depth in the stage, which is pretty cool, so you had a sort of perspective fighting uh, point of view, which was nice. Real Bout Special, awesome game, awesome musics as well, really um, very impressive. And this is also one of the uh, one of the very best ones for the Fatal Fury sequel. Um, 
Fatal Fury Real Bout 2. The Newcomers, 1998. High meg count as well. And you're actually reaching those 539 megs. Pretty nice. Pretty impressive. Kabuki Clash, Far East of Eden. This is a really nice original uh, fighting game with um, blades, you know, such as um, the Samurai Showdown series, but you also have a like uh, very animal kind of look to it. This is one of my epic titles, Metal Slug 2, Japanese version, authentic AES. Very, very detailed graphics for the time. Comes to 362 meg count. Incredible. Then we have, obviously, Metal Slug 3, which is probably seen as, for many players and collectors, as one of the best games the Neo Geo has ever released. You can tell it's just, uh, I mean, graphically speaking, stunning. <laughs> I'm still looking for the 4. I have Metal Slug 5 as well, US version, really nice. Very good condition as well. <clears throat> then we start going on to the heavy hitter titles. This is Stakes Winner 2 AES. Um, quite a rare title, given the fact that Japanese community, you know, are very big aficionados of uh, horse racing games. So, um, this one was definitely a really sweet find I had, and um, no sun fade, really good condition. What to ask for more? <laughs> <clears throat> this one as well it was really nice, Shock Troopers 2, Second Squad, 1998, an awesome uh, run and gun action scene from a sky perspective, so it's kind of... Um, yeah, it's very particular because you kind of, it's not like the Metal Slug where you have a horizontal scrolling, it's more like you, you dive into the action kind of thing. This is also one of my rare titles, Magical Drop 3, released in 1997, quiz puzzle game, well, I'd say more like a reflex puzzle bob kind of um, game. And then we have some more, I would say... Um, Kind of classic games such as Mutation Nation, probably one of the best beaten ups. Top Hunter, personal favorite of mine, definitely. Especially with these incredible graphics. I mean, if you just think it was released in 1994 and it was just like so amazing. Huh. Oh. Ninja Commando. This one is pretty sweet, especially given the condition, which is nice. I really love that one. It's um, it's also a vertical sprawling run and gun kind of game. Spin Master, one of the best uh, platform action series. Very detailed graphics as well. You can tell the taste is it's really sweet. Hmm. The bosses are amazing, very different. Another copy of Samurai Showdown. Fatal Fury 2. Fatal Fury Special. King of Monsters 2. Nice one. <laughs> I love the, that jacket, it's amazing. Art of Fighting. Still looking to get Art of Fighting 3, actually. I haven't got it yet. This was um, a non-official uh, Neo Geo, but it, were, it was released um, by Arcade in 2001. They actually only did a few copies of these. It's really sweet. So it's 1945 plus vertical scrolling shooter with um, a very good um, music, great animation. And then we go on to just a few conversions. I have Ganryu, which is really well done, I must say. It's pretty... you can tell the definition of the print is, is pretty good. And then I've got those uh, more particular puzzle games. 
couldn't remember the titles to be honest, but this is also one of my all-time all favorites, Prehistoric Isle 2, probably one of the best shooters on the Neo Geo. It's just amazing, and how original is it to tell yourself you're just, you're not killing enemies or machines, you're just chasing dinosaurs. <laughs> Awesome. Released in 1999 by Yumikobo, the same developers who did The Amazing Blazing Star, which I haven't got so far, so, yeah. And here we have Puzzle Depon, Captain Tomaday, uh, Power Spikes, a volleyball game. This guy couldn't really say. <laughs> this guy flip shot, also conversion, two conversions of Blazing Star, an amazing shooter. Although I don't have it in AES, I'd love to. Still looking for it. Metal Slug, obviously one of the crown jewels, which I haven't got so far, but looking into it. And here I actually own these very special NG Dev Team titles. You can tell count is pretty amazing. Razion is a very very impressive uh, horizontal shooter with detailed graphics, amazing stereo music. I mean you can pretty much tell it's... you're actually thinking it's CD playing. I mean it's, uh, it's just amazing. Fast Striker definitely one of my personal favorites due to the tracks, the original soundtracks, also 1560 megs. Amazing vertical scroller, called also as a maniac shooter. And we have here um, a limited edition copy of Gunlord, which is really nice. One of the first uh, releases with uh, XYZ and um, Last Hope Pink Bullets, which I don't have so far. <coughs> and another conversion of Shock Troopers, which is the first sequel to the run and gun I had shown you previously and to finish I have another few games right here such as <laughs> Last Blade an awesome samurai um, fighting game very very detailed graphics amazing animation and characters is it really has a, a unique graphic touch to its to itself it's quite amazing. This is one of my uh, jewels, I'd say. An original AES version of Polestar. Really sweet. I mean, for 1995 it was just a, a masterpiece, I think, in terms of uh, 3D rendering, you know, animations. and um, It was actually one of the first games to ever exploit the 3D rendering, pre-rendered pre 3D. Here we have Sonic Wings 2, an awesome shooter. Sonic Wings 3, very sweet find as well. And this I'm kind of happy to have, to be honest. The amazing Kizuna Encounter, also known as Super Tag Battle. Japanese version, authentic, AES of course. Which is the sequel of uh, Savage Rain. Uh, very good uh, beat them up games as well. Mark of the Wolves, uh, probably the best Samurai Showdown there is, uh, Samurai Showdown, uh, Fatal Fury sequel there is, also known as Fatal Fury 4, I believe, amazing animation, pretty much considered as, I would say, the reference in terms of uh, beat them up games for the Neo Geo, it's just amazing. Here we have <laughs> the incredible Matri Melli. Launched in 2003, one of the last games actually Neo Geo released. It's a, a very nice beat em up game with a unique atmosphere of its own, very much uh, into the um, Japanese cosplay manga kind of um, feel. You can tell it's, I mean, it's really, um, it's really nice. Great music as well. And it has actually uh, sung songs by, I mean, some artists, you know, who actually sing during the soundtrack, which is pretty surprising and amazing, so, yeah. World Here is Perfect, also a very good beat them up game. That was the next chapter to World Here is 2 Jet, launched in 1995. Here we have Samurai Showdown 3. 
We have a Samurai Showdown 4, a Sakuza's Revenge, and Samurai Spirits Zero, which is a great also Samurai. Amazing graphics, I mean, it's really very amazing. Neo Geo Cup 98, which was actually Super Sidekicks, uh, released in 1998 for the occasion of the World Cup. It's also a great um, soccer game, so I'm really happy to own this one as well. And we'll finish off with some uh, lighter titles, I mean, more common, such as Blue's Journey, a very good action platform game. Magician Lord, whoops. <laughs> Magician Lord, amazing uh, platform game. Just take a look at this. I mean, graphically speaking, for 1990, it was one of the f very first titles to be released on the Neo Geo. It's just stunning. Nam 1975, if I'm not mistaken, the very first title to have been launched on the Neo Geo. Now, Riding Hero, motorcycle rally game. Very nice. Eight Man. Now this Eight Man copy has a story of its own because for some reason it ended up being just <laughs> pretty much chopped apart. I mean the insert. <laughs> it's, but you know, it was still a good buy and I mean the game is great so I just decided to... You can tell also the graphics are pretty amazing. This is kind of a, a Final Fight uh, robot tech uh, scramble kind of game, so it's really nice. Alpha Mission 2. This one is uh, very particular because it is still sealed and has never been opened. So this is also a very nice collector's piece, I'd say. I'm trying to keep it in good condition. Super Baseball 2020. 2020. Yeah. Nice game as well. One of the only basketball games, actually. Sort of NBA Jam for the Neo Geo, so this is Dunk Dream. Also called as uh, Street Hoop in Japanese. No, in the um, US version, sorry. It's pretty nice. You can tell it's really like arcade uh, NBA Jam kind of feel. It's really nice. And the recently acquired Sengoku 2 which is really an amazing uh, beat them all game. Very nice, 1993 released. And to finish off with Thrash Rally. Car Rally game, which is okay. It's kind of, yeah. It's a kind of um, entry category game, I'd say, but it's still very nice. Still have also this a visual, you know, visual history Neo Geo book, which is amazing. Phantom Converter for the converts. A few converts right here as well. Ah, Turf Masters. Everything you need. The arcade adapter. One console with the um, slug in the box. Scanline converter. Japanese Neo Geo console. US Neo Geo console. And that's it. So, um, thanks for watching and uh, looking forward to sending you future stuff I have.